You know, growing up, my mom always used to say, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. You know, I didn't think much about that back then. However, today, bed bugs are a very serious problem. Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Bed bugs are an external parasite. They feed on human blood, cause whelping of the skin, cause your skin to itch, and multiply within weeks. They are very, very difficult to get rid of. Luckily, Solutions has a four-step process that will guarantee you 100% to eliminate your bed bug problem. The first step to the process is identification. What does a bed bug look like? Well, depending on the stage that you're looking at, they may range from a pinhead size up to an apple seed size. Bed bugs are flat, brown, and they can be found where people frequent the most, such as bedrooms or living room. They can be found crawling across floors, walls, or ceilings. Once they've had a blood meal, their bodies become elongated and turn red. The second step to the process is inspection. You may wake up one morning and have bites all over your body. These bites are raised areas on your body that kind of look like a mosquito bite and they're red in color. If you see any of this, that might be an indication that you have bed bugs. The first place you're going to want to check is your bedroom. Why? Because that's where you frequent the most. You sleep there. Let's go to the mattress. We're going to look around the seams. We're looking for feces, dried blood, skin shells. If you see any of this stuff, you probably have a bed bug infestation. Also, check behind the picture frame, behind the headboard. We're going to look in all the electronics such as TV, clocks, radios. Check your dresser and your chest of drawers. Bed bugs love to hide in cracks and crevices. So if you have positively identified bed bugs, you'll want to inspect the rest of the house as well, especially those areas where you frequent a lot, such as living room, dining room, kitchen area, other bedrooms. Bed bugs are wanderers, and they're going to go to wherever they can find that next blood meal. The third step to the process is control. We want to start by prepping the room. We want to make sure that we remove clothing, bedding material. We want to wash it in hot water, then dry it, place in a plastic bag, and store away from the room that's being treated. Then we want to disassemble the furniture, the chest of drawers, the dresser, the bed frame. All of these are very important so that we have access to the cracks and crevices of the furniture when it comes time to treat. Then we want to vacuum. Be very thorough with vacuuming the room. Vacuum the mattress, the box spring, around your baseboards. Very, very important. Once you've completed that, if it's a bag vacuum cleaner, dispose of it outdoors. If it's a canister type, empty outdoors, rinse it out to remove any eggs or immature stages that you may have picked up. So now that we've completed the prep work, let's move on to chemical control. We want to use a product called Flex 1010. You can apply this product to your mattress. Spray around the seams, and if you have any buttons on top of the surface, spray around those as well. Once you've completed that, you'll add a product called Gentrol IGR. It's an insect growth regulator. It actually prevents bed bugs from being able to reproduce. You'll add this product directly to the Flex 1010 mix. You're going to apply this to the box spring. First thing you want to do, though, is remove the netting on the bottom side of that box spring. Then you're going to spray up into the cracks and crevices. Once you've completed that, you can go back and you can spray the entire floor area in the room. I'd also go ahead and spray those floors that are adjacent to that room just to prevent bed bugs from transferring from that room to another. Once the application dries, we're going to focus on the cracks and crevices of the furniture, the dresser, chest of drawers, bed frame. We're going to use an aerosol, Pyrid. Pyrid has a great quick knockdown to it comes with a straw that you put inside the crack and it allows you to get good deep penetration in there. That's very important because when bed bugs are not feeding, they're hiding in cracks and crevices. Once we completed that, then we're going to use a dust, defense dust. This will help prevent bed bugs from moving from one room to another by applying it inside the walls. We're going to do this by taking it and injecting it up underneath the baseboards. Also, you can remove the cover off the outlet and inject it into the wall there as well. Prior to doing that, 
turn the breaker off to the electrical outlets inside that room. Also, large voids in the cracks of the furniture. You can apply the dust there as well. The dust will last for months, and I usually recommend that you reapply every six months. Now, let's move on to the box spring encasements and mattress encasements. This is a very important part of preventing and eliminating bed bugs. The encasements that we sell come with a patented zip and click zipper system that actually zips all the way around the mattress and locks into place, keeping allergens and bed bugs out of the mattress. You'll want to keep these encasement covers on your mattress and box spring for at least a minimum of a year because bed bugs actually can go a year without feeding. Next, we want to follow up. Periodically, check for any activity. If noticed, then we're going to want to reapply our Flex 1010, Gentrol, and Pyrid every couple of weeks until the activity has ceased. If you travel a lot or you have visitors that are coming into town, make sure that you apply a product either prior to or after they leave or you return. This is very important because we don't want to reintroduce bed bugs into the environment again. The fourth and final step is prevention. You know, one of the most common ways that we get bed bugs in our house is traveling. People go to hotels. It doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a, a one star hotel or a five star hotel. They're all susceptible to bed bugs. But what happens is bed bugs are hitchhikers. So they crawl in your suitcase and you bring them home into the home. Now, you've got bed bugs. So how can we prevent that? Once you get inside the house, remove the clothes, put them directly into the washing machine, wash them, dry them, put them away. The suitcase itself, immediately vacuum all the seams of that suitcase and inside the pockets. If you're using a bag vacuum cleaner, remember, dispose of it outside. If it's a canister type, rinse it out. So let's recap the solutions four-step process in eliminating bed bugs. One is identification. Two, inspection. Three, control. Four, prevention. If you follow that four-step process, solutions guarantees you 100% that you will eliminate your bed bug problem. For more information, visit our website or one of our stores or give us a call. I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lyme. Ask us how, then do it yourself.